everybody, it's Mr. Close 21 here again. Today I have another Deal Extreme unboxing for you guys. So yeah, let's show you the package that it came in. So I pre-opened this package because it's hard to tape with one hand and open it with the other. So yeah, I just have to do that. So just to let you guys know, because in some videos I do not show you that they're from Deal Extreme. Here it is. Um, yeah, let's see. Does it say Deal Extreme? And yes, they are an audio gadget. It cost me ten dollars, not with the twenty cents, but they say that. And then it says all this. Let's see if it says Deal Extreme on the box. Ah, let's see. Does it say Deal Extreme? Hmm. Uh, so I guess it doesn't say Deal Extreme, but here's their address, so you can make sure. And yeah. So let's get into this bad boy right now. So let's open up the package. As you can tell, I'm having a hard time opening the package with one hand. Okay, so here's the package. We could put this to the side right now. So here it is. Yes, pull it out this baggie. Then put this baggie inside the other baggie. In here, because I'm a neat freak, as you guys can tell. I like having my things clean. Here we go. So they were the $10 beats, so I know they're fake. And coming from China, I wouldn't really trust them, so yeah. So it says Monster right here. It says Solo HDs. And then it says With Control Talk High Definition on Ear Headphones. Made for iPod works with iPhone uh, I can't focus in because I'm filming with an iPod they have horrible um, they have horrible def high definition I guess quality so yeah there's Dr. Dre's quote and what he has to say about his headphones probably fake but then we get to the to his face you can't even see his neck as you can see it in the video you can see it in over here and then it has this little thing where it says the uh, beats by dre.com slash monster. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, it focused. Then we get to the back where it talks about the beats by Dre solo edition and all that stuff. I'm not going to take the time to read it out to you guys because I don't think you really care. You guys just want to get to the unboxed. Here we go. Here are the headphones. And whatever it has to say, how they were made and things, and yeah. So let's get into these bad boys. So let's open up the box. Let's see, how do you open this box up? Okay, you push this up. You pull this out. We'll put this right there to the side. Let's put this. So it came in a nice box. Uh, the box wasn't damaged, as you could tell. Um, I ordered two pairs of beats, but these got here first. The other ones were um, the Beats Tours with Control Talk. And yeah. So what I've heard about these beats is that people say they're better than the Skull Candy. And so that's why I went out and purchased them. So when you take them out the box, you immediately notice that they're fake. First of all, they're fake because, let's see, they have the little cord cord running through both of the headphones, and the real ones just have it on one side. Plus, you could take it out and plug it back in. And let's see, the B, that's another dead giveaway that they're fake. It looks more like a six. Yeah, if you turn it a little bit like this, it looks like a B. But then we turn it back, it's a 6, not a B. And let's see. So it says left. And it doesn't have a serial number. That's impressive. And then, let's see. Um, the right headphone. And the top looks a little bit naked because it doesn't say Beats by Dre on the top. And that's another dead giveaway. So, let's see. Uh, do they open up? Let's see. 
Put you on my left hand. Mm, let's see. So yeah, they do open up and fit snug on your ears. Um. So now, let's talk about the cord. The cord has um. I guess you get bet. It's better than skull candy. It's like a harder cord. Um, and yeah, I bought these just to do a review on them. Not ready to take them anywhere, but I think they're comfortable. They seem comfortable. Let's try them on. Okay, we're gonna record this right now. So let's see how they fit. Um, yeah, let's see. As you can tell, they fit kind of snug on me, so, yeah, they're good. They don't feel like they would bother me at all. Um, that's probably it. And let's see, I'm going to try the sound quality on these right now. So, bear with me a few seconds. Let's put these down. Let's put them down here. Okay. Let's plug it into my phone. Let's see. Okay, let's I'm gonna let you zoom in. Oh, okay. Next thing I noticed, they break. Uh, I was really expecting that from Chinese products, but who cares? I fixed it. And it goes back, pops out. But yeah. So let's plug it into the phone and see the sound quality. Um Please comment, rate, and subscribe for this video because I haven't been getting comments or ratings on my other videos. So yeah, let's get on to the music thingy. So it's going to be something in Spanish, but because I don't have English music on this phone right now, but who cares? Let's see. And as you can see, they're pretty loud. And yeah, they're pretty good headphones overall. Like, the cord is better than Skull Candy. And Skull Candy is known as a good product. Not Chinese, but you know what? I really like these. I think I'm going to take them to school and stuff even if they're fake. Like, where could you beat this price? It's $10. Nobody sells $10 headphones. They're good. They're just for music. Um, as I was saying, I'm gonna do another unboxing on the tours. So just wait for that. When they get here in the mail, I will do a review on them. And please comment, rate, and subscribe to my video channel. Until next time, peace.